Alright, we are back for more Arthur Latch Twilight of the Spirits, and it is time to hear the truth. So let's head into this cave. And what is this? Ah, you came. Where is it? There's nothing here. I thought we were going to hear, or we were going to understand the ultimate truth. Wait. Can't you hear something? So you have come, you've chosen ones. I am the spirit of hope. The last remaining spirit alive in the world. Remaining? Crag Island has seen little change since ancient times. Neither the original Slothians nor the humans that later came inflicted any damage on the island. So this is the only place in the world where nature has not been destroyed by the wars and modernization. The bonds between the humans and the spirits still exist here. So unlike any or unlike other spirits, I did not have to leave here. And more than anything, it is those that do not abandon their hopes that are keeping me alive. I don't care who you are. Just tell us what you told my father in Nafia. You told them something here. The two of them came to this island with hope for the future of the humans in Deimos. A hope that they would learn to respect each other and live in harmony. Come on. Why would they want that? Because they themselves had got past the barrier between humans and Deimos. They loved each other deeply. Because already on Crag Island they saw the reality of the two species living together. They all saw it too. Yes, it was wonderful. Windolf and Nafia's hope became more than that. It became a will for change. Because they heard here, as you have heard, about the Lord of the Black Abyss. What do you mean? The Lord of the Black Abyss was sealed away in the Ark many moons ago, but he is not dead. He is biding his time, time that could be called an eternity, waiting for his chance to re-emerge. He is just waiting for the world to be filled up with negative emotions. Negative emotions? The power to destroy everything which the Lord held long ago. A power which comes from the negative emotions of hatred, animosity, greed, and envy. The stronger the negative emotions become, the easier it becomes for the Lord of the Black Abyss to resurface. And what kind of emotions exist in the world now between the humans and the Deimos? What do they think of each other? why Lady Nafia and Windolf had the desire to make a world where humans and Deimos don't fight. Because they knew they mustn't allow the Lord of the Black Abyss to resurface. Indeed. But, things have become much worse since then. I can feel the Lord of the Black Abyss stirring. Already the doorway to the world's ruin is opening. You cannot hate each other. You cannot fill the world with negative emotions. The fate of the world is in your own hands. The world's ruin. I thought that was just the talk of fairy. To, uh oh, it's like a typo. A fairy tells. Okay. And this Lord of the Black Abyss. He has the power to destroy the world? That's ridiculous. Wait a minute. We've heard a lot of things all at once. All pretty surprising things. Don't you need some time to think them over? You're right. So, let's go back to the village for the time being. Okay. Sounds like a plan.
So, back. Let me be alone for a while. I can't handle being around you humans all the time. He ha has he really had such a hard life? He's always been looked down upon for being a Deimos wannabe, and it's often put his life in danger. A Deimos wannabe. A child of a Deimos and a human. I guess that makes me a human wannabe. Karg. If I'd stayed in Ubel, my life probably would have been in danger too. When I went back there, I suddenly grew wings. That showed everyone there or they, that showed everyone there is Deimos blood in me. I had to escape because people went crazy wanting to kill me. That's terrible. Dark has had that since he was a child. And yet he still wants to save the Deimos? Why would he do that for the Deimos who would take his life? What would you do, Carr? Do you hate the people of Ubel? They tried to kill me, but no, I can't live my life hating humans. If Dark wants to help the Deimos, then I must protect the humans from them. Now, if you ask me, you two brothers are you two brothers are peas in a pod. What? Helping the Deimos or protecting humans, both of you brothers have taken a dangerous road in life. You both want to do something about this troubled world. World, You're just going about it in different ways. Right then. I'm going to take a break too. There's some good drink and pretty women. That'll be fine for me. Or maybe that, that's too much to ask on this island. Yeah, I kind of agree with you, Samson. What's his story? He calls himself a thief? Yes. From the Dillswell Army's point of view, he's a thief to be reckoned with. For some reason, they're the only ones he steals from. But to me, he's more like a hero. He's helped me out so many times. It's weird, but whenever I'm in trouble, he always seems to appear at the right moment. Really? Hmm. Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. You probably need some time alone to think, too. About what's gone. And, uh, what's to come. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess Karg is by himself now. A world where humans and Deimos don't fight. This is no good. I've got to stop thinking about it or I'll never get s to sleep. Okay. Well, might as well just go ahead and heal while we're over here. If I can talk to him. There we go. So, heal me. Heal me up, good sir. And, uh, I guess I should point out right quick at the store here. Um, can actually buy something. Hold on. Okay, maybe it's not here. Maybe it's at a different part. Um, hmm. You can buy anti-Slothian stuff here. I'm not sure where to find it. Okay, well. Hold on. Uh, well, I didn't mean to go there. I think it's an item. Hold on. Yeah, you could probably hear the song playing earlier.
Samson. A splendid performance. It's very hard to get such a good sound from an Ortina. You know about the Ortina? Hmm. Er, uh, well, it's a famous instrument. I don't think so. really did sound beautiful. Very relaxing to the ears. It's not because I'm any good. It's just a good Ortina. Not at all. You're... Well, it's a treasured possession of my late mother. My mother taught me the Ortina. She taught me that song. Really? Play it again for me. Sing louder this time. I'm tired. I'm gonna rest now. Okay, that was weird. Car, I didn't see you. Sorry. Okay. Night. And now she's running. Hmm. Samson. Something going on between you and Lilia. It's a little weird. Okay. Let me go back here. So I don't look stupid. And still not there. There we go. Anti Slothian. Jeez, I couldn't find it. All right. Sorry about that. That was bugging me. I had to find it. So, anti-Slothian. It prevents change in Slothian. You can I think you can only get it here. So, there we go. Took a minute to find. Okay, now let's go talk to Samson. Well, I thought she'd be gone to sleep already. Samson, what's going on between you and Lilia? Why is that all of a sudden? Don't worry. Even... I wouldn't go for a girl that young. I'm serious. What's going on? Nothing's going on. Up to now, I've always thought it was a coincidence that you came along and helped me. But really, you're just been, you've are just been you been there because you're looking for Lilia, right? And that sheet of forest, that Mount uh, Kina, Quina, whatever. You were there to help Lilia, weren't you? And you didn't come with me to this island to look for treasure, did you? You came because you knew Lilia would be here. Uh-oh, we've caught you, Samson. Lilia told me all about it. About how Darkham burned down the village she grew up in and she killed all the villagers. She managed to escape with her parents. Then her father disappeared. Her father, it's you, isn't it, Samson? Don't tell her. We were entrusted with the Lightstone, and the people of our village died shielding as we, us as we escaped. We fled for ages, and when at last we found a place we thought was safe, I left my wife with Lilia there. I couldn't let Darkham get away with it, and I swore vengeance on him. I armed myself, and got a band of people together who hated the Dillswell like me. Since then, we've been going around the world causing trouble for them. That's why you only steal from the Dillsweld and no one else. Yeah, only. I couldn't get anywhere near Darkham himself for more than ten years. And it was only just before you crossed into Aldro that I heard that the Dillsweld army had found Lilia and kidnapped her. That's when you started going around trying to save her. Yeah. Why don't you tell Lilia you're her father? I gave her up to get revenge. I can't call myself her father now. Well, anyway, you should tell her. A parent should give a child a chance to say what he wants to while they're still alive. Is there something you wanted to say to your mother? The truth? I wanted to ask her why she hid the truth from me. That. It's probably for your own benefit. For my benefit? How? I've come to understand something. The parent holds a secret to protect their child 
they can hold it forever. And one day, they believe the time will come when their actions will be understood. I can't accept that. I wonder how he feels about it. Who? Well, there's someone else who's probably feeling the same way as you. Oh, I wonder who that is. Let's go find out. Maybe he's on the Elder Hill. What? A world where humans and demos live in peace. You think that's possible? Sure. Every human in the world are like the humans here on Craft Island, that is. Really? I was thinking that all the demos in the world should be more like the Slothians here. Humans should submit to the demos! No! The demos should bow down to humans! So this is to be our fate. There's no other way out of this! You listen here, Kark. Deimos live for more. It's all we know! If the Deimos were to submit now, it would be just like dying for us! And humans can't just throw everything away, just like that! You think we're just going to let you destroy human civilization? Your civilization only serves to weaken our race! Wait! What are you two doing? You humans, bastard! Please! Don't fight like this! Why can't you understand Lady Nafi and Windolf's wish? They swore they had to make a world where humans and Deimos didn't fight. Karg, you heard what the Spirit of Hope said. Surely, that way of life would be too dangerous for us humans. I can't believe you. Dark, do you feel the same way? It would be best for all Deimos if I just killed him here and now. You too. For goodness sake, stop fighting your brothers. You two are the last hope. Not just for Lady Nafi and Windolf, but for all the spirits who disappeared. Shut up. I can't listen to you, all your preaching. That sounds just like dark. Here you all are. Samson? What is he running here? Bad news. The Dillswald army has just shown up. Oh no. What? Where? Their airships just landed on the east shore. What are Dillswell doing here? I guess they're after... Lilia. Damn. I said the same thing. Why, when they already have the li uh, Lightstone? I don't know why, but Darkham is determined to capture Lilia. What does he want with me? Do you know? Well, I, I told her. We've got to hide Lilia somewhere safe. Guess I owe you. Had to pay you back somehow. Right, the only place they can come ashore is at the beach. We've got to stop them from getting to the village. Let's cut them off at the beach. Okay. Dark, where do you stand? You humans are my enemy, but I've got scores to settle with the Dillswell, too. We'll leave our dispute until later. Fine by me. Let's go. Alright, let's go kill some Dillsweld. We're gonna make them regret ever landing on Crag Island. Except we're gonna do that in the next part. So, 
we will kill some Dill's Weld and protect Lily in the next part. I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching.